Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghuir. In this class, we will discuss about uh, the need of elimination of left recursion grammar in compiler. So, what's the problem that we are going to face with left recursive grammar? This problem was already discussed in our theory of computation playlist. Uh, but this is uh, we are using here the real time grammar for identifying the expressions. These expression grammar was already discussed in our previous class. Uh, so here with uh, this real time example, we are again going to understand the need of eliminating the left recursive grammar. Please watch our classes and come back here. The link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Coming to today's class, uh, this is our expression grammar that we all we used in our uh, previous class e tends to e plus t or t t tends to t star f or f f tends to uh, again calling the expression and id means identifier let's try to understand what's left recursive grammar means this is a left recursive grammar e tends to e plus t again expand e e tends to e plus t so like that we are keeps on expanding e where we have to stop we don't know where we have to stop that is the problem with the left recursive grammar. That's why in real time we should eliminate that left recursion. So if our production is of this form a tends to a alpha or beta, then we can eliminate this here a a calling again. So left recursive. So if it is of this form, we can eliminate this left recursion using this equation a tends to beta a dash beta a dash. One more production is taking a dash a dash tends to alpha a dash or epsilon this is how we are eliminating the left recursive grammar we apply this equation to our grammar e tends to e plus t or t e, this e is considered as a this e is considered as a plus and t is considered as alpha this t is considered as beta it is of the form a tends to a alpha or beta so we can write the equation in this form e tends to beta e dash beta means here t t e dash e dash tends to plus t e dash or epsilon like that we have to convert our grammar in without having left recursion after doing this conversion this is how you because we are not explaining how to do this conversion this we already discussed in our theory of computation class playlist so after eliminating this non left recursive grammar this is how the grammar looks like e tends to t e dash e dash tends to plus t e dash or epsilon t tends to f t dash t dash tends to star f t dash or epsilon f tends to epsilon, uh, uh, e or id this is how non left recursive grammar hope you understand the concept if you have any questions regarding the concept Please post your questions in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates. Thank you.